teenager and young entrepreneurs, it's important for you to know that you have an edge over 30, 40, and 50 year olds. And here's what it is. I don't think most know about it, but you ought to know about it. And here's what it is. Look, when I was 18 years old, 19 years old in the army, we would party Friday night till three, four o'clock in the morning after a full day, after I woke up at four o'clock to go to formation. And we would stay up till three, four o'clock in the a, a night in the morning. We'd wake up the next day, come back, go hit the gym, party again the following night, Saturday till three, four o'clock in the morning, come back, go hit the gym. And then boom, Sunday night, I would go party at a, a, a club in Nashville that was a country music club. And I would come home at two o'clock, formations at four, five o'clock, going on two, three hours, and we're working, running, and you know, five miles, four miles, and then working on Hummers and trucks, and then coming back, hitting the weights, and then going to sleep at night. And I did this for years and years and years. So when I got out of the army, I understood as a 20 year old, I had an edge because I knew I had stamina that was my edge over some 30, 40, 50, you know, 50 year olds that maybe didn't have that kind of a stamina to compete. So you have that stamina going for yourself. You, you, the other edge that you have going for yourself is the fact that the older you get, 30 year olds who have a degree, fancy degree, or 40 year olds and 50 year olds who maybe like a like director or vice president or whatever they may be, they have a hard time saying, I don't know. It's like, hey, you ever heard of John Doe? Oh, hey, I've heard of him before. You've never heard of him before. But 30, 40, 50 year olds say what? Oh, I've heard of him before. Because they have hard time saying, I don't know. But you're a teenage entrepreneur, you're a teenager. You're a young entrepreneur. You have the power of saying, I don't know. Teach me. I don't know. Teach me. I don't know. Teach me. Which what that does is, to everybody that wants to teach you their secret sauce that they typically wouldn't teach to everybody else, the idea of saying, I don't know, teach me, gets a person from this to guards down because you're no longer a threat. So they're willing to really teach you the, the deeper element of winning in business or whatever it may be versus the 30, 40 year olds like I know too much. So they will never say, I don't know, which means they're not going to ask the questions, which means they're not going to be as curious because they have a degree or they read 50 books or they read the right articles or whatever they have. They can't say, I don't know. You as a teenage entrepreneur and a young entrepreneur, you have the stamina going for yourself. You have the ability to say, I don't know. The opposition is willing to have their guards come down, that they're willing to share the real deep insight with you on what it takes to win in any kind of an industry. And then the other one that you have going for yourself at a young age is the following. Look, when you're 35 and you're married, one day you wake up with a woman next to you, a man next to you, call husband and wife, and you got two, three kids that are screaming, saying, mommy, daddy, waking you up in the middle of the night. And most parents from that moment on, rather than using the kids as a motivation to go out there and win, use the kids as an excuse to say, well, you don't understand. I got no sleep last night. It was so crazy. And oh my gosh, I wish this, 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 all these things are going to use, right? To say, I got no sleep last night, which is right. They didn't get any sleep last night. They're right. They didn't get any sleep last night. But most people, it takes to their mid thirties and forties to realize when you have a baby, you learn. You could have all this time gone with four to six hours of sleep for many, many years, but you didn't know you could because you partied hardcore and slept your eight to 10 hours and you wasted your twenties. You wasted your teens because you partied constantly. You wasted it. Partying is overrated. This is coming from a guy that did plenty of it. It's overrated. It, it, this, I figured this part out at 24 years old, 25 years old. And it gave me an edge if you think about it, because I had a five year edge. I have a six, many of my peers party till their mid thirties. I stopped at 23, 24, 25. You're watching this, you're 15 years old, 16 years old, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, whatever age you may be. I'm not telling you live a boring life. I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you go be square and boring. I'm not telling you to go do that. All I'm saying is be very aware that you have so much energy that you don't even know you have. You have to be 50 to know the energy you have. You have to be 60 to know the energy you have. You have it. That energy is priceless. You can't even put a value on it. It's not like it's worth a million dollars or $10 million or a billion dollars. It's priceless. Any 60 year old would do anything to exchange their energy with yours of what you had at 18, 19, 20 years old. So if you use that, use the power of, I don't know, you use the power of bringing people's guards down where they're willing to share with you what worked for them. And you have the power to sit out there and work where you don't have to worry about the kids, liability, responsibility, pressures, all this other stuff to learn at 35 years old that you have a different gear that you can tap into 
that the only time people learn that they can tap into is when they have a kid and they realize there are nights you can only get two hours and you're still going to have to go to work. You're still going to go to have to. There's been nights I went to sleep and like, wow, wow. I had three of them. I got another one on the way. Now I'm about to go through the phase again in the next few months, right? And you're like, oh my gosh. And you go to work and no one knows. You're going on two and a half hours of sleep because every hour and a half or two hours you woke up because a kid was sick or whatever happened, drooling, all this stuff. That's the stuff where you say, oh my gosh, I'm capable of doing so much more. So, teenage and young entrepreneurs, if you watch this, I can give you 20 more things that you have an edge over. You have to know this yourself. So for the right person watching this, if a parent shared this video with somebody else that's that age and they're sitting there saying, oh my gosh, I never thought about it this way before. If you do it the right way, your future looks bright. And by the time you're 25 years old, 30 years old, if you find the right person in your early 20s to work with that you shadow and you start getting caught up in this whole thing about passion, you get caught up into the right person to shadow. By 35 years old, you have all the money. You can go buy a nightclub or restaurant and call it after your name if you wanted to because you did it the right way. You maximize the era of being a teenager and a young entrepreneur and how much value there is behind that. If you watch this video and you want to know a little bit more about a message like this. I did a video years ago titled The Mis Biggest Mistakes I Made My First Year as an Entrepreneur. You ought to know this. If you've never seen this video, it's an old video, go watch this video I share with you the biggest mistakes I made as a young entrepreneur. Having said this, have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.